been a step up in the last two weeks in terms of uh, the way the teams competed, the, the connection on the pitch, the, um, the proximity of our play. And we just, nothing, it wasn't all perfect, but there was a lot more forward drive, a lot more uh, purpose to our play. And um, it was nice to get a 1 0 win, of course. But there were so many changes, that, to be honest, anything could have happened in that last 10 minutes. But nice to get a 1 0 win and pleased for the team to to get a really good goal and Kieran Agard to score and I thought it was really positive performances right across the pitch. They had a really good 10 minutes at the start of the game and I, what I liked about it is we just held firm and just let them have the ball a bit and then we just built our performance and I like it when you build a performance you know it's, it's about what happens at the end of the game and what the final score is and uh, you know, I'm really pleased with the way we played today. We've really worked on, on getting him in the game more. You know, it's he's a striker that that you know he's he's going to come to life around the box, especially in front of the goal. And it's about us making that frequency at a level that's going to get some product for us. And the ball was in and around him a lot more today. It didn't all be. It wasn't all a perfect bit of play, but he had an opportunity to give their centre backs a problem, and he did that numerous times. Of course, it ended with a goal. But even without the goal, I thought he was. I thought he was the frequency of his um, actions and how, how, he, how he, you know, um, troubled the centre-backs. But you have to have a team that wants to service that too. And I think we did that more today. I just want to say how well Conor McGrandall's played. You know, he came, he came off the bench and he played four positions today. And uh, when, you're, when you're a good player, you can do that. And uh, he did it with, with, without breaking stride. Oren late in the game, and there's no point hanging around for the last couple of minutes. So let's get. I want to give David a bit of a bit of a, an outing, really. And, and uh, with Callum, I've not had a chance really. I mean, he, he, he did he did uh, he did pick up a nasty knock. So I'm I'm really keeping my fingers crossed on that one. Well, they're not ready to play yet, and they both they, they've not featured in training yet. Uh, Chuck's has actually, but it was a session that I wasn't there. Um, so uh, there's been a step made there, but in terms of selectability to play clearly you've got to train before you can play and I think um, you know Osman is uh, recovering from an injury and um, he's uh, he's edging closer week by week but it's not it's not just around the corner we're talking you know some, some weeks yet um, and Chucks is I think he's bridged the gap between not training and training but now we've just got to see him train for a while so um, it's a shame because I've, I've, I've had a, a real month to try to see as much as I can to form my opinions and that's the nature of it. You know, I, I'm, I'm not going to learn everything in the first three or four weeks and especially if players are injured. So um, I'd like to have seen them out there on the pitch for us, but uh, as yet, no. Uh, it, it, it's been good to, to meet him and work with him already. Um, I can see instantly why he has had a long career because he's, he's got a good know-how, he makes good decisions and uh, he understands the game of football and he can deliver so um, um, long may that continue.